What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to Colorcraft Bushcraft. My name's Alex and this channel is all about my journey learning and developing bushcraft skills. Um, today's video is one that I'm really excited about because I've been sent a present. Uh, my buddy Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival has sent me a uh, cool, very cool little care package with a, a whole bunch of different um, man-made fire starting tinders in it. And I thought it would be cool to open it up in front of you guys, show you the stuff that he's made, uh, and give you a few of the, uh, the kind of the specs, the burn times, and a bit more information about all of them. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Let's do it. I'm really excited about this. Thank you, Grazy, mate. I do really appreciate it. All right, so first up um, is Grazy's fat rope. So for anybody that doesn't know, fat rope um, is essentially, it is pure cotton that is wrapped inside a kind of water resistant uh, sort of plastic case. And the idea is that you, you burn all of it. So they're absolutely brilliant in really wet weather uh, because the cotton inside is kept dry by the outer casing, as you can imagine. So all you do with these is you cut off a small slice you uh, fluff out the cotton inside just with your hands, just rub it together in your palms, and then it takes a spark um, from a ferro rod or it takes a, a flame really, really easily. Um, I think um, Grazy's actually gone a step further and dipped his cotton in melted wax to make it burn for even longer. So he says that um, of the sticks he makes, um, one millimeter of the, of, the, of the fat rope will burn for two and a half minutes, which as you can imagine, when you're trying to get your fire go, particularly when it's wet, is going to be insanely valuable. So I'm really, really excited to try that. Thank you, mate. Next up, I've got his mini fire log. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I have absolutely no idea what is in here. I think, if my memory serves, because he did tell me about it, I think it's actually a um, like the middle of a, a loo roll. So you know when you get down to the cardboard right at the end. I think it's that stuffed with a whole bunch of, of various different kind of combustible slow burning things things like uh, the cotton dipped in wax and stuff like that and then he's wrapped it in a uh, in a, the brown paper as you can see um, and then you take that with you and all you do it's really, really simple to use all you do is set fire to the paper itself uh, and pop it down um, wherever your fire is uh, these are really really good to dry out uh, wet bits of kindling and fuel because this I think he said how long has it said so on average when he's using these they burn for 25 minutes which is incredible uh, and would be easy long enough for you to dry out the kind of the next level up in your your fire um, your fire prep whether that's tinder whether that's kindling whether that's fuel um, this burns at 25 minutes, you can pile stuff around your, your mini fire log, even on top of it, and it will dry it out really nicely and you can get your fire going from there and really get the oomph you need. So that's really, really cool. 25 minutes, that's awesome, and I'm looking forward to trying that as well. The next thing that we have here uh, in this little pot um, is called Maya Dust. So this is effectively shavings from Maya sticks, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, as you can see, it's really small, really portable, um, and these, the way to use these is you take a pinch of the Maya dust. I don't know how much you need to use. I don't even have to use the entire pot in one go. I think that would feel a little excessive. Um, but you pop uh, some of it into a, a tinder bundle or a bird's nest, um, pop a spark on it, and then blow it into life that way. Uh, and I believe he said, how long does it say? So it's Maya, a Maya dust shot um, is about three minutes. Uh, so it'll burn for three minutes while it's in your tinder bundle uh, or your bird's nest trying to blow, blow the tinder bundle into life. So I think that's very, very cool as well. Looking forward to giving that a go. That's something I've not tried before. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving that a go. So the next thing um, that he has sent me is some jute string. Uh, this is really, really um, delicately uh, intertwined uh, bits of string. I think there's something like eight strands and maybe even more, eight strands that are all woven 
into these bits of string. Um, and the easiest thing to do with these, because they're a flash thinner, so obviously the more you use of it, uh, the longer it's going to burn. But you unwind it and then fluff it up. So what I would do is, is cut off a small amount of it um, and then unravel the part, the end of one of them, fluff it up, um, put a spark or a, or a flame to it, and then use the rest of it as almost like um, a fuse to uh, to your fire. So that's very, very cool as well. And I'm looking forward to you having a go with those. Uh, next is something that I haven't seen before. And I don't know if it's him that's created these, invented these or what. I mean, not to be mean to you, Grazy, but I, I doubt he's invented these. But if he has, that's insanely cool. So this, uh, he's called a golf tee. <clears throat> um, these are very, very cool. I believe this is made out of uh, fat wood that again, he has popped in melted wax um, so that it will burn for longer. And what you do with these apparently is you stick them in the ground point first as you would golf tee and you light at the bottom here. It will burn for, how long did he say? Uh, the burn time is around four minutes. Um, so that'll give you plenty of time to get your uh, your next kind of step up in, uh, in wood onto your fire and get it going. Um, he did say as well that to make this easier, particularly to get it going in the first place, if you use a nice sharp blade and a sharp blade and actually feather the bottom of it, we all know how good I am at feather sticking. If you feather the bottom of it, um, it will help get it going and burn for longer. So that's really, really cool. Um, and I'm, as, as the same with all of these, look forward to trying it. What else has he sent me? So he's also sent me some pine resin, uh, which is something that I haven't I haven't used before, and I wouldn't even be sure how to use it. Um, I don't honestly know, and he hasn't actually sent me any instructions on how to use this, other than he's not sure on the burn rate, uh, just pop it, uh, just set that in the fire. Uh, it's not been field tested yet, so, so we shall have a look. I don't know if the best thing to do with pine resin is to scrape it uh, and get loads of shavings. I'd imagine that's probably what you do, shave it over something else and set fire to that and hope that the sparks take the, uh, take the resin alight. But uh, again, we'll take it out and we'll have a play with it. Those were the things that I was actually expecting and those were the things that he sent me um, specs about. But there is some other stuff in here as well, uh, which I think it'd be cool to show you. One of which I believe is a Maya stick. So this is um, basically what makes the Maya dust that I showed you. Uh, again, what I think he's done is dipped it in, in melted wax um, to just increase that burn time again. All you would do if you've run out of the actual dust itself is take this with you, scrape off as much as you need, um, and get it going that way. Take it, you know, pop sparks or, or a flame on it. You could even, um, you know, split these down if you already had some kind of tinder, uh, but you didn't have particularly great kindling. I'd imagine these would be fantastic for kindling because you could split these down quite small, pop them over your uh, over your tinder, and that would really, really um, help your fire. So very, very cool. This, I believe, is the same as the jute string, but it is the stuff that's unwound. I don't know actually if this is 100% cotton because in theory you could use this to make your own fat rope because he's also sent me a whole bunch of duct tape as well um, which actually is really really useful as a, as a tinder and a, and a fuse. I know it's the mo not the most kind of natural. Um, people would, may argue that burning plastic and stuff isn't great but if you're only going to use a little bit of it as kind of a fuse to get yourself going then I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Uh, but yes, so he's also sent me this um, this kind of string as well, which I believe is the same as the jute string, but it's just opened up, and you can see how nice and fluffy that is. And taking that with me would give me a perfect uh, bird's nest tinder bundle, whatever you want to call it, without necessarily having to forage for materials, particularly if it's really, really wet. So yeah, so I'm really, really happy with all of this stuff. Really, really uh, grateful to Grazy for sending it all to me, and I am very much looking forward to getting out and trying all of it in the field. If any of you guys are interested in picking any of this up, Grazy's actually making various different size box sets containing bits and pieces like this um, that are available to buy. So if you go check him out on Instagram uh, and, and get in contact with him, he can send you the prices and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll put a link to him down in the description below and if I remember, I'll put his, uh, his app on the screen uh, now. Right, well that's it for me today guys. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Grazy over at Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival. Um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to taking this stuff out into the field and trying it out. And I will definitely film how I get on with, uh, with each and every bit of it. So thank you very much, mate. Please, please, please go and check him out on Instagram and his YouTube channel. Um, he's a really great guy, really knows his stuff. And um, 
as I say, he's selling these bits and pieces as well, so make sure you go and, uh, and check that out as well if you want to. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, you know, please feel free to comment, share, like, make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell uh, to stay notified when I put a new video up, and I shall see you very, very soon. Take care, guys.